Carb cycling for extreme fat loss. If you have 10 pounds to lose before a wedding or event, this is the video for you. Stick around to the end for an important power tip I'm going to give you so that you can accelerate your results if you're up to the challenge. Tip number one, find your daily carbs. These are going to be the carbs you're going to eat Monday through Friday. I'll cover the weekend in a minute. So as you see, if you weigh greater than 200 pounds, you're going to eat 200 grams of carbs per day. You weigh 150 to 200, you're going to eat 150 grams of carbs per day. And if you're smaller and you weigh less than 150 pounds, you get 100 grams of carbs per day. By keeping carbs low Monday through Friday, we're keeping insulin quiet so that we can encourage maximum fat burning. Tip number two, which carbs should you eat? As you can see in the chart, I've given you plenty of options for carbs that you can eat through during the week. Pick the ones you like and pick the ones that you can portion control so you don't overeat. They should also satisfy your hunger. We're not counting calories here, but we are counting carbs. Comment below if I left your favorite carb out. Tip number three, find your weekend reload carbs. We're not having a cheat meal on the weekend. This is an all out assault on fat loss for four weeks, but the weekend is the time where we will reload your carbs. This is where we cycle in two days of increased carbs, and this will help to reset your hunger hormones and to help with your recovery and replenish glycogen during the week. So if you're greater than 200 pounds, you're gonna be eating 250 grams of carbs per day. If you're between 150 and 200, you're gonna be eating 250 grams of carbs per day. And if you're less than 150 pounds, you're gonna to get to eat 200 grams of carbs per day. But please don't panic when you wake up Monday morning and you weigh yourself and you see you've gained two to three pounds. That's just water weight from your body and your muscles absorbing those carbohydrates. This water retention will dissipate within a day or two. Be patient and by day two or three, you should see a loss of weight of one to two pounds then you know you're on the right track. If not, maybe you overload it on the weekend. Be careful for that trap on the weekend. You still need to count your carbs even when you're reloading. In fact, it's even more important so that you don't go over your daily allotment. Tip number four, find your protein. You're over 200 pounds, you get 225 grams of protein per day. If you're between 150 and 200, you're gonna get 175 grams of protein per day. And if you are less than 150 pounds, you will be eating 125 grams of protein per day. There are no added fats in this diet, just what you get in your protein sources. This amount of protein will ensure that you preserve muscle, along with the next tip. Tip number five, strength training. Full body at least twice a week. I know you're all strength training out there, so this shouldn't be a problem. Stick to the basic compound movements, and then you're gonna use the rest pause method the reason I prescribe this is because it helps you to get in and out of the gym. Lift as heavy as good form dictates. You wanna go heavy here because we're trying to preserve muscle. You're gonna do three reps, you're gonna rest 15 seconds, and then you'll do another three reps. You're gonna do five total rounds, 15 total reps. And you can apply this to any other exercise or major muscle groups you do. You will find using this rest pause method, if you go as heavy as you can with good form, you're gonna be uh, gassed after one or two exercises per body part. Because your carbs are low during the week, I keep this training short and succinct. This will preserve muscle and improve your metabolism. Power tip, if you wanna accelerate your results, I recommend using metabolic finishers. You can do them immediately after your strength training, but you absolutely have to do them on your days off from the gym. Number one, squat thrust with mountain climber alternating. You're gonna do that for 30 seconds, you're gonna rest 30 seconds, and you're going to do three to six rounds. That's number one. Number two, push up and air squat. Again, you're gonna do 30 seconds of work, rest 30 seconds, three to six rounds. I specifically Program one and two so that there's no excuse. You don't need any equipment for those. You can do them at home or you can do them at the gym. Number three, you will need at least a dumbbell or a kettlebell. You're gonna do a reverse ladder. So the way it works, you'll start out with 10 squats, one swing, nine squats, two swings. You get the idea, it's a reverse ladder. On your days off for the gym, these finishers will ensure that you give your body a little metabolic boost during the day to keep things running smoothly 
and it will also help to keep your insulin sensitivity high so you absorb the carbohydrates and nutrients you do take in. Now watch this, if you want to avoid destroying your fat loss with poor snack choices. Thanks so much for watching.